sports gambling and daily. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. We got the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on. Orlando Magic. Orlando Magic have been so freaking hot lately, Philly. Now, I mean, they, they just beat the Suns. They beat Charlotte. They're, I think they've won four in a row, or maybe they're going for their fourth in a row victory. And you got Cleveland just have lost. They're like on the complete other side of that spectrum where they've lost four in a row, and they're just getting blasted. You got blasted by teams like the Pistons. Um, hell, they just they lost to the Orlando Magic as well. So, um I mean, the Orlando Magic, I think, were like 0-7 before they rolled into Cleveland and got that first road victory. And, uh, you know, here we are again. Now you got the, the Magic really rolling. Yeah. And, the, you know, and the Cleveland Cavaliers, I mean, I don't, I don't see any kind of uh, positivity for them. Yeah, I think if you're kind of like a casual fan looking at this game and you don't really watch it all the time, you, mm-hmm. you might be like, well, I don't know what really the advantages are here, but – um. I agree. They're they're similar type teams as like an overall maybe like record of the landscape of the of the season so far. But I mean, recently it has been Orlando has been on a on a pretty good tear. Um, both teams are ranked lower offensively. You know, Orlando's 29th, Cleveland is 28th. Defensively, right. Orlando definitely has the advantage, third versus 18th. But if you look over, like we'll call it the last two weeks of the season, uh-huh. uh, Orlando has been playing really well, and even when Vucevic went out. Um, I thought that was going to be a problem for them, but Markel Fultz is really starting to figure it out. Aaron Gordon is having having a really good year so far. I mean, Edmund Ford, yeah, I mean, he's playing like something I've never seen before. So, You're right. yeah. uh, guys, ripping it. I mean, ripping it up. So, right now, I'm going with the team that's rolling. I mean, I know Cleveland plays better at home. I think Orlando is playing sneaky good. Um, that line to me is is probably going to move more, but. Um, Right now, as it sits, I'm, I'm leaning Orlando for sure. And there's really not a whole great deal of injury front. Uh, looks like Tristan Thompson is probable. Um, Aminu for Charlotte's out uh, with a knee. But other than that, it's not doesn't really show anything too too crazy. Mm-hmm. So Let me okay. talk about some trends here. Magic are 4-0 mm-hmm. against the spread in their last four road games versus a team with a losing record. So that lines up perfectly with this matchup here. And the Cavaliers are 2-7 and seven against the spread in their last nine when their opponent scores 100 points or more in their previous game, and that's exactly what happened here when the Magic just demolished the Phoenix Suns. So I agree, Philly, and that's the reason why we're seeing this line move. This line opened up at minus 2.5, and, and now it's up to 3.5, and, and believe it or not, it's at 4 at Bavada. Yeah. So, guys, if you like this game, if you, if you agree with our analysis here, you better jump on it now because this line... It's just going to move it in the wrong direction. So go get it, guys. That's our analysis for the Magic versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, if you can guess this exact score, we'll give you a week's worth of our premium selections for free. Here are the rules. And, uh, you know, it's three simple rules. Follow them. You know, we, we, we hope somebody wins. No one's won this yet. So it's going to happen soon. And also, guys, uh, you know, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. We've been red hot in the private group. Come join the private group. Come over here to sgdwins.com. We'll get you in. That's all I got to say. Absolutely, man. It's been a lot of fun with the uh, you know live betting. Uh, that's been a great angle. And also, we give out a lot of prop plays that have been killing it. So, uh, if you want to be part of the team, you know, give us a holler. All right. Give the man a holler. And hit that <laughs> thumbs up button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. See ya.